Now you might be wondering, why am I upside down at the intro of this video? To be honest, I don't really know myself. All that I know is that I wanted to show off this achievement effect that you can see over here. And you can get it in your own stream as well. So I'm going to quickly get back up, go to my PC so I can show you how to install this. Because the blood is rushing to my head. This isn't a good idea. What's up everyone, it's Mr. Duelicious here, and as you can see from that intro, I have reworked one of my first effects that I've ever created for Leon Board. It's now completely in OBS and it's so much easier for you guys to download, install, and actually customize this effect yourself. So no more After Effects or Photoshop files that you need to change yourself, you can now do everything within OBS. And I think this effect looks even better than it did before. I'm talking of course about my Xbox One achievement effect. And this effect is still very popular amongst my viewers, and they always like to give me my very and personalized achievements with channel points when something cool happens on stream. And I'm going to show you in this video how you can set up and customize this effect yourself. Now the best thing is this effect also works with both Leon board and streamer boss. So regardless of which of the two you are using, you can use this effect yourself as well. Now before we get started with installing this effect, make sure that you have installed all the prerequisites that you can find within the zip file. Otherwise things aren't going to work properly. So make sure you do that first before we move on to the next point, which is installing this in either Leon board or streamable. Now, of course, before we get started, you need to go to my Kofi shop where you can actually download all the files that we're going to need for this. So go there, download the zip file and then unpack that zip file in the location where you will later know where everything is going to be. Make sure that you don't change the location afterwards anymore because we are going to set a few files within OBS that are linking to that location. So make sure that it's in a location where you don't mind keeping it. Otherwise, things might break afterwards. After you've downloaded it and unpacked everything where you want it to be, we can actually move on to the next step, which is setting everything up in OBS. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to install the scenes in OBS. And like with my custom shoutout effect, this is actually a lot easier than it used to be. So go into your OBS and then next up, you want to go to your tools menu. You want to go to the source copy and then we're going to load a scene. Now make sure that you go to the zip file that we just downloaded from our Kofi store and then you should see all these folders. And then just simply go into the OBS scene collection folder, find the JSON file that we have over here, double click it, and over here, you can already see that the new scene is being made. Click on it and you will see everything is down here. All the sources are being made. Now you will see one thing, a lonely text box that is appearing here, which of course is not the way that we want to have it. There are a few things that we need to customize before it actually looks the way that it should. The first thing that you need to do is right click on the scene go to filters and there you will have the achievement image mask filter. Here we'll see add local path to achievement image mask PNG. That's basically something you need to do yourself. So click on the browse file again, go to the location where you have downloaded your zip file, go to media and resources. And there you will see the Xbox achievement image mask PNG. Double click that close out and there you will see nothing appears anymore. We need to do that with one other thing as well. We need to go into the sound file properties and there again you need to add the local path to the sound file so again go to the same folder media and resources and there you will see the xbox one achievement cp long dot wave double click that and then that's basically all you have to do for things to work properly. Basically, it is already now everything is set up and it's going to work out of the box. One thing that you can customize, though, is we have two different colors. We have the achievement bar color and we have the logo area color. Uh, I'm going to show them for you real quick so you know what we are talking about. All right. So here we have the achievement bar background, which is now the typical Xbox screen. And then we have this little section over here, which is a lighter green. You can basically change these to any color that you want. So simply go to the achievement bar click select color and there you can find every color that you want in here same goes for the achievement logo area which is this little circular area over here just go in change it to any color that you want and like i said it can literally be any color it doesn't matter just go for your own stream colors or your favorite color or keep it to this xbox screen if you like that one thing that i can say though is to keep make a contrasting color between the background and this little bar so the background i have slightly darker and then this little circle is slightly lighter that is something that i can recommend so if you go for a darker background color here make sure that you keep Keep the same color in this circle but then go slightly lighter if you don't want to do that it still works but it's up to you but i think this way it looks the best so let's hide these again so that they are not visible all right so this is everything that we have to do in obs to set it all up next up we're going to first go to leon board to set this all up and then afterwards we're going to go to stream world so i can show you how to set it up in both of those tools as well now before we move on to installing it in leon board there's one thing that you need to do within your twitch dashboard 
which is setting up the channel point redemption. Now, if you don't use Leon, but what you're using Streamabot, you can skip this step completely because we're going to set it all up within Streamabot. However, if you use Leon board, you need to set it up manually. So go to your Twitch dashboard, go to your channel point settings, and there make sure that you add a redeem, which is called Achievement Unlocked with a capital A and a capital U. Then also make it so that people actually have to enter a message set the amount of points that you want it to cost, and then you are good to go and you can move on to the next step, which is installing the deck in Leo and board. Okay, now that we've set everything up in OBS, we're gonna set it up first in Leo and board. So I'm here in my Leo and board, and of course, as, as always, I'm gonna make sure that everything is connected to both OBS and Twitch. We're gonna error message down here. We're just gonna ignore that, so don't worry about that. And then next up, we're gonna click on install extension. We're gonna select an extension file, and then over here in the zip file that we just that we just used as well. We have the folder Leon board installer. Open that and there you will see the Mr. Delicious Xbox Achievement Unlocked installer.lbe. Simply open that. And as you can see, it's going to add the deck all the way to the bottom of your deck collection. Now, sometimes it asks for your TSL transmitter. If it does that, simply select where you have your TSL transmitter file. But if it doesn't do that, then you, it still works. No worries about that. We're going to open it up and here you will see all the buttons. You don't have to change anything here. This is going to work straight out of the box. So if you're using Leon board, uh, then this is basically all you have to do in terms of installing it like this is it's going to work as long as you as long as you have the channel point redemption that I mentioned earlier, you can test it yourself. Just go out of your just go back to your main menu, try it out with your channel point redeem and you should see the effect happening. So this was Leo and board again, very simple to install. Next up, we're going to go to stream about and I can show you how simple it is to use it within that as well. OK, now that we've done Leo and board, we're actually going to go to stream about and I can show you how to install it over there as well. So open up stream about and make sure that you are connected to Twitch and to OBS as well. Then simply go to your actions tab and then within the zip file, you have a folder called Streamerbot installer. Open that and within that you will find a text file. Open that as well. And this is the entire string that you need to copy. So select everything, control C or command C to copy that. And then we're back in Streamerbot. We're going to right click within the actions window, click import and then paste the string that we just copied in here. Wait for a couple of seconds for it to recognize everything. You see that it's going to install the Xbox achievement uh, and the queue for that as well. So import that. And then as you can see, we have the entire action set up here already. The only thing that we have to do afterwards is we need to make sure that the channel point redeem is actually connected to this action. So go into your channel point rewards menu and here you will see all of the ones that I am using. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to copy the achievement unlocked one. So we are going to Duplicate that is now called Achievement Unlocked Copy and we're going to edit that and we're going to link that to the action Xbox Achievements. Click OK and now it's been made and we can now go back in OBS and we will instantly see the new channel point redeem that we've made Achievement Unlocked Copy. We can click that and then we can actually type Hi, this is a cool achievement! Exclamation point. Click Enter. And within a couple of seconds, you should see the effect appear in your window. And when it appears like that and everything seems to work, you know that you've installed it correctly and everything is good to go. The only thing that you have to do next is make sure that you add the new scene that we just created as a nested scene to all the other scenes where you want this effect to appear. Like I said before, this new version of the Xbox One achievement effect is a lot easier for you to both install as well as customize yourself, even without having additional tools like After Effects or Photoshop. Now, as always, you can download this effect on my Kofi store completely for free, or you can pay me what you want if you want to support me and my content. And speaking of Kofi, there's actually a new form of support over there as well, namely membership tiers. If you want to support me outside of Twitch on a monthly basis, you can now sign up for one of the membership tiers on Kofi. There's three different tiers and all of them have various different perks that you will get when you subscribe to them, ranging from Discord roles to beta access or even custom sound commands that only you can use in my Twitch streams. So again, if you want to support my content and you like the things that I make, please consider becoming a member over on Kofi. The links are in the description down below and there you will find all the information that you need on that. And that's basically it. And that's how simple it is to install this custom Xbox One achievement effect in your streams. Now, I personally love getting achievements from my viewers whenever something fun happens on my streams or even whenever something dumb happens on my stream. They sometimes like to give me achievements for that as well. 
Yes, I'm looking at you guys, you know, you know who I'm talking about. But I think it just adds a little bit more fun and interactivity to my streams, which is definitely something that I love doing. And now you can do the same thing for your streams. And speaking of streams, if you haven't seen mine yet, did you know that I stream every Monday, Wednesday and Friday over on Twitch? The links are in the description down below and there you will be able to give me my own personalized achievements, but also my own personal trophies. Or you can mess with my streams in various other ways by using channel points. Plus, I always love hanging out with you guys and getting to know you. So don't be shy to come on by and say hi. Well, that's going to be it for me for today. But as always, my name has been Mr. Delicious. You are all extremely delicious yourselves as well. Thank you for watching this video and good luck getting your very first personalized achievement on your next stream. I pointed at the right spot. I know, yeah, I, I think I learned, I finally learned that it's this arm that I need to use and then I need to point kind of like, you know, over here. I think I learned. I mean, I can point to November. No, wait, I can point to November. No, wait, I can point to November. There we go. <laughs>